everybody, my name is Eric Hopkins and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're finding me for the very first time or you are a returning viewer and have not yet done so, please click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content right here on this channel. So Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings is the latest Marvel Studios film that has just came out into theaters over this last weekend here. And of course, over the Labor Day holiday, it had a very good showing. And that is, of course, is now going to mean hopefully good things for Hollywood and the theatrical experience moving forward. And of course, all these movies that are coming out, hopefully the rest of this year. It seems like at least one studio has gained some confidence due to the fact that Shang-Chi has performed very well. So that brings us over here to the article from the Direct. Let's go over here and check out this news. Uh, Venom 2 is now coming to theaters sooner than later uh, and sooner than expected thanks to Marvel's latest success. For a brief span of time, it was looking grim for the box office as it looked ever more likely that audiences would be seeing films delayed again. Disney itself had even contemplated whether to delay Eternals or give it a hybrid release like Black Widow based on one key factor, the, the success of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Rumors that Sony Pictures was planning to delay Venom Let There Be Carnage to next year began to spread, but Sony quickly squashed that notion. At first, it didn't look great for Shang-Chi, with projections for its opening weekend being quite low. Then those projections began to rise, until Shang-Chi managed to beat the odds. The success of Shang-Chi seems to have already begun affecting other studios, with Sony making a very bold decision. According to Deadline, after the success of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings at the box office over the Labor Day weekend, Sony Pictures has not only decided to not delay Venom Let There Be Carnage, as many, as many had feared, but instead release it two weeks early from October. 15th and it will now release on October 1st of 2021. Odd but encouraging decision from Sony's pictures for sure, but it's encouraging that Sony saw Shang-Chi as enough of a success to confidently move up the release of Venom Let There Be Carnage. But it's also a bit of a confusion decision, because the next James Bond film starring Daniel Craig, No Time to Die, plans to release internationally on September 30th and domestically on October 8th, just one week after Venom Let There Be Carnage. This means there's now an even greater chance that this Venom sequel could be swallowed up by the competition, but perhaps Sony knows something everyone else doesn't. Regardless, this is a good sign that Spider-Man No Way Home will not be delayed along with Eternals 2. So, thank you, Shang-Chi. I appreciate it so much. Not only was the movie very good, in my opinion, go check out my review here on the channel right now for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, but it brought in enough money over the holiday weekend to give these other studios confidence to continue to release their 2021 movies. Up to this point, it's been kind of shaky with some of the movies that have come out fast. Nine was very successful, especially overseas, and there's been a few others that have you know been a little bit hit or miss. But uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings did a pretty good job with everything considering going around in the world today with the pandemic. Uh, but now it seems like Sony is you know accelerating their plans, so to speak, and they are bringing out Venom Let There Be Carnage just a few weeks earlier. Kind of, for, first of all, Venom Let There Be Carnage was originally scheduled to come out the same day as Halloween Kills, that much-anticipated sequel to the Halloween franchise. So it makes some sense to drop it on a day that really has no other competition on that given weekend here in the United States for sure. Uh, but uh, as the article mentioned, it is now going to be coming out a week before uh, the new James Bond film and No Time to Die, not one week after. So it'll be interesting to see how all that plays out. But the, the month of October is looking very good with Venom Let There Be Carnage. And then, of course, the No Time to Die movie. And then uh, we've got uh, Halloween Kills. And not too long after that is the highly anticipated Dune film that I believe at this point will still be releasing simultaneously in theaters and on HBO Max on same day release. But we'll just have to wait and see if Dune, if that changes or not. But again, that's four weeks in a row, basically, with some big Hollywood movies, assuming nothing changes at this point. So right now, the things in Hollywood are looking a lot better, and the theatrical going experience seems to be kind of hopefully coming back a little bit here. And let's hope that audiences will continue to go out and support these movies and continue to kind of get back into the world here. Uh, I know we've got, you know, different variants and, of course, the vaccines and, you know, the pandemic is still kind of an issue here. But at the same time, uh, it's nice to see see that these movie theaters are hopefully going to start, you know, being a little bit more profitable for these studios and the studios will continue to release these movies and we'll get some of these before the year is out moving into 2022. So that's my hope. I'm very excited for it. I was very happy to go back to the theaters again. This is about I, when I went to see Shang-Chi is my third time going back to the movie theaters this year and and everything was OK. So and, and, and the theaters are doing a great job. So by all means, get out and support these movies uh, if you can and if you feel comfortable to, by all means, it's definitely great to go back to the theaters and see these stories.
stories play out on the biggest screen possible. There's nothing like it, and I look forward to seeing the rest of these this year as well. But what are your thoughts? Are you happy that Venom Let There Be Carnage is not going to be delayed, delayed into 2022? Are you excited to see it now on October 1st? It's a little uh, under a month away now, so it's right around the corner. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and please hit the notification bell so you also get all the notifications about when I put up new content right here on this channel. And until my next video, guys, take care.